Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition, and we have our brand new nomadic survival vehicle, complete with a crafting loop in the back, vacuum pumps, it's got a bed, it's got room to barely walk around in and kind of get stuck a little bit trying to crouch through here. Just uh, it has all the fixings, pretty much. Um, I actually put some headlights in it since you saw it last. Now, for this episode, I'm going to attempt to have a raidless harvest of, um, what are they? Where are the, the, the things I need to get a spud gun? Oranges and blueberries. And I have a total of 16 between the two of them, but I need 20. Oh, I have nine oranges plus 11. As long as none of these oranges get destroyed, then I will have exactly as many oranges as I need for the spud gun. And then I just got to save up some blueberries. So yeah, it is my understanding that it takes roughly 21 minutes for the oranges and blueberries to grow. I hope I'm right about that. So this means if I play my time management perfectly, I can plant this harvest just after midnight when the raid would normally be triggered, avoiding that raid. And then before the next midnight rolls around, they should be sprouted. So I should be able to pick the crops and pick up my soil and leave before the raid even comes. And I won't even have to deal with a raid, I hope. And actually, where's that hay bot that I just killed because I want his scrap. I still don't, I still can't mine uh, rocks yet without a drill. So I need all the scrap I can get. We're halfway through the day. So I'm going to maybe try to loot one place and then I'll try to, uh, oh, are you, there's a farm right here too. Hmm. This is, this is a tempting area to try to do it. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to play this confidently and uh, overconfidently enough that I'm not even going to try to protect my farm, uh, throughout the day, because I'm going to bet that I can do this without getting, without having to worry about a raid at all. Excuse me. Look at this guy. Look at this guy avoiding me. We got Ninja Haybot over here. He's got all the moves. Well, he's dead now, so I guess it didn't help him that much. I have better moves. So yeah, why don't we drive our brand new and amazing looking Nomad vehicle over to this place? I hope I didn't loot. I don't think I looted either of these places. I actually don't know for sure. I don't think I looted this place. Let's go check it out. Okay, loot, are you here? Are you here, loot? Oh, look at him just guarding it. Just like that. All right, well, he is guarding it no longer. Now I am- Ah! Ah, ah, okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry I killed your friend. Well, not really. Now you must die too. No one can know what has happened here. Look, at, ooh, component kits. That was a good one. What do we got here? Component kit? Uh, nope. All right, so in order for this to work, I have to have the plots uh, already placed and watered by the time midnight hits. And then as soon as midnight hits, I have to lay down all the seeds. And I think that the tough thing is going to be being there as soon as the uh, the harvest sprouts and picking everything up before the raid comes. That's going to give me about uh, three minutes to pack everything up and nomad my way onto the next area. Which would be the packing station, actually, because I could uh, pack some of those oranges. All right, let's eat some beets, get our hunger back from our one successful harvest in the last episode after those two embarrassing failures. Oh, I just thought of another idea. I'm going to try to, this is risky, but I am tempted to use my nomad vehicle to just plow through the raid because I'm not going to have any defenses. I'm not going to have any obstacles in the way by the time they get there. So it'll just be a group of bots so I can just run right through them. All right, I got this place all looted. It was actually a pretty good loot, and I'm gonna risk my life here. Not that much of a risk, because I'll spawn right there, but I'm gonna try to jump into my driver's seat from here. Ready? Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, pulled it off. All right, how much time we got? We got six minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the plot ready. I had really, really bad luck planting on a farm in the last episode. I wanna redeem myself and do the same thing with just as little uh, defenses, but this time not lose the entire crop. This is the redemption episode. All right, so where should the actual plot be? I'm gonna do the plot over here. Ooh, another water bucket. Um, all right, let's get all the stuff I need for this. I'm actually kind of getting, I'm feeling rushed all of a sudden, like the, now the night is approaching. All right, we need that. Uh, we need that. 
And I need so I need a ton of soil. All right, let me get my inventory organized here. All right, there is 20. Let's go up to 30, which is just gonna make the packing up time a little bit longer. But I think, I think if I play my cards right, I'll do this. I'll do this successfully. All right, is that 30? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's 30. All right, we are pretty much watered. Look at that. All right, all watered up. You know what, I'll just have a couple of extra ones watered, just in case. Just these ones that were already there. And now, we just gotta watch the clock, two minutes left. And then I will plant, and then I will just re-water some of them, just in case. You know what, why don't I- why am I not doing- I should be having my truck facing over here. That way it's all lit up. Look at that! This tree's kind of annoying, can I get rid of you? Nope. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. It is a new day, I think. I, it was kind of weird. I didn't see the day number change. Maybe I looked at it too late, but uh, it is time to start planting. Every second counts. Oh no, I wanted to plant my carrots first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's all the carrots. All right, we are good. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put some more water down. Just refresh some of the water. Unauthorized farming detected. All right, we got 23 and a half minutes until the raid comes, but we should have 21 minutes until these are ready. So we're gonna have two and a half minutes to pick everything up. And oh, I actually forgot about these. Uh, those are gonna be a little bit late, but it's gonna be fine. All right, so let's put our beacon down. Where's my beacon? Do I have it on me? I don't have it on me. I, I, gotta, uh, I gotta do better with my inventory management. I just got stuff in random chests. I need to have more of an intuitive system here. Where's my- oh, there's my beacon. Alright, I'm gonna leave the beacon right at the farm too, just because I, uh... I want everything to be picked up really, really smoothly. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Let's just clear this up as much as possible. Ooh, while I'm here, I'm gonna harvest this for wood so I can make some more wood. And my game crashed. For some reason, the game did not want me to tear down that establishment there. All right, I'm loaded back in. I hope that didn't mess anything up with my world. I did back up right before I recorded. Just that's just habit from the last uh, the last series. Oh, my game crashed again. That's not a good sign. I think I legitimately broke the world. All right, one more time. Loading into this world. I think I, this world is done. Alright, I am very, very happy that I backed that up. Alright, now I'm loading into the previous save, which shouldn't crash the game. If this crashes the game, then th we may have some problems. Alright, we're back in. Alright, we're back where I started the episode. Okay, so I don't know what I did wrong there. This world is backed up again from this stage, but uh, it is now 10 in the morning. So, same plan. I'm gonna try to do the same thing and expect a different result because this isn't real life, this is scrap mechanic. And often, doing the same thing will get you very different results. So, let's loot this place again and get over to the farm and plant the farm and de deconstruct that establish the farm establishment there and see if the game crashes again. So, I am deconstructing this first in case it crashes my game. Uh, I think- Oh, that scared me. Uh, I think I- What is going on? What is wrong with this shack? What did I do- Did I do something bad to this world? This is really weird, because I always deconstruct the shacks the same way like that, and I've never had that crash the game before. So there's something with- I think it's like with this shack in particular. Yep, I literally bricked my save file again. All right, welcome back again for the third time on this save file. Uh, this is like Groundhog Day now. So you know what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna go straight to that shack. I, I believe I backed up the world again. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight to the shack and I'm gonna uh, try to deconstruct it in a different way. Uh, so it seems that the issue is, uh, like I could do this side, no problem. Oh, let me get this guy out of here so he doesn't hit my vehicle. All right, so the issue was this side, and when these things fell to the ground, I think that is what glitched out my game. So now that I've placed these things manually on the ground, let's see what happens if I do this. All right, now it's fine so far. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and place these just manually. <gasps> now I'm like paranoid. Any time something falls off of a structure, I'm gonna be so paranoid that it's going to uh, crash my game. <gasps> whoa, 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 that scared me. I th How does that not crash the game, but just the single piece does? That doesn't make any sense to me. What? Look at this. I just deconstructed like the whole... How is the game not crashing now? It was like that one piece. That one piece must have been just glitched out for some reason. I really need my weld tool so I could just, you know... Well, uh, I guess that works. I could just do this. Ooh. Those look like valuable pieces. But they're probably heavy. They're pretty durable. The weight isn't that bad, actually. These support structures might actually be a good building material. Good for protection. I'm taking them. Okay, I spend too much time on that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the farm set up. Not watering it, but just get the plots down. And then we'll see how much time we have to loot before we have to uh, water it and plant. This is still a time management thing. I'm just doing things in a different order now. And I'm getting different results. All right, that's all good. Now let's head. Uh, I, I definitely wasted way more time this time, but let's see if we can still loot this warehouse because I still had a couple minutes to spare. Uh, and by warehouse, I mean ruins because this is definitely not a warehouse. Warehouses are very different. But this is going to be my third time here. I should know exactly what to expect now. Going to park myself in the same spot. So I can jump into this vehicle. So let's see if Mr. Haybot is still guarding that crate just like he was last time. Ready? Oh, well, these are already alert. He, oh, they're more, they're more aware of me now, too, it seems like. Ah! Oh, boy. Okay, here, let's, uh, let's get ourselves in a nice confined space with all these bots chasing me. Smart moves. There we go. And let's see what happens. Sometimes they, even though, like, the lift strategy seems... Like, that happens sometimes. They seem to be able to have, like, extra reach on occasion. And they surprise me like that. Alright, come after me now. It's re like the- they- you have slightly more reach than they do. And with them knocking you down a peg every single hit, sometimes they get you just within their hit range and they knock you off. So, it's still challenging. Alright. Uh, yeah, def- Oh, okay, hello, we got an extra one here. Excuse you. There we go. I'm worried about the integrity of this save file now. It seems to be very, very fragile. Like anything could crash it now. It makes me nervous to loot. All right, so one thing I've noticed is that while the chests are random every single time, uh, these are not random. Like every single time, I think those have been the same materials inside. Um, all three run-throughs of this ruins, but the chests were different results for every single run-through. So that's kind of interesting. Ooh, a carrot. Oh, oh, I missed this. How did I miss this both times? A gold chest? Oh, a piston. Yes. That was... Wait, I can't pick up the... Inventory full. I'm getting rid of something. Uh, uh, I'm gonna drink some milk. All right, here we go. Third time's a charm. and I mean, also a charm, because I didn't mess up the first two times. Yeah, all right. All right, let's get back to the farm. We got four and a half minutes to get the crop watered. I, it's plenty of time. We're, do, we're doing really good on time, actually. And this time, we're not gonna crash the game, right, Scrap Mechanic? Right? You with me? You with me on this? No crashes? You know what? I'm feeling so confident. I'm gonna actually tear down this keep out sign. The bots are gonna not even know that they're supposed to keep out. All right, here it goes. Five, four, three, two, one, and it is time. Oranges first, then blueberries. Then carrots, I got eight this time. And then beets. All right, there we go. I'm feeling good about this now. Unauthorized farming detected. So now we have until the, uh, the next, uh, well, 21 minutes. We have until 21, basically. We gotta get back here at 21. So let's go and uh, loot some more. We're gonna loot some more ruins. All right, this place looks massive. Have I been in here yet? This is so many levels. Oh, there's Haybot. Oh, no, 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 no. There's Hay- Oh, there's Haybots all around. Hold on, I gotta make sure there's nothing on the other side of my vehicle. Alright, I think we're okay. Alright, this place is already- I haven't even gone inside yet. I'm already getting ambushed. 
through all of the wheat. Whoa, look at all these guys. Where'd you guys come from? Oh, whoa, they should have had me there. They definitely swung at me when I was in their range. He's just like, oh, I'm done with this guy. I'm waiting until he comes down. I'm not, I'm not falling for his games. I'm not gonna play it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, you guys, uh, you guys been practicing, huh? You've been practicing your, your high swipes. I feel like they got more difficult this time around. Oh! Oh, what, did Hank have something to do with this? Hank left me behind. I didn't leave Hank behind, okay? He has no right to exact revenge like this by training a Haybot army to be bigger and badder with their skills. All right, when chapter two comes out, we're gonna be revisiting that survival world. We're gonna be going back there saying hi to Hank again. And uh, I'll have some, I'll have, I'll, I got some words. I've got some words to say to him. Cause that's how communication works. You say words to each other. All right, I've made it to the top. The loot was decent, but I'm wondering if there is a chest hiding up here. Ooh, yes. Are they always hiding up here? I don't think I made a habit of checking up here in my last survival world. And that, I mean, fuel's okay. But uh, take a look at the view from up here. There is, oh, there's a boss, uh, the, the farm bot biome over there. We got a three-story warehouse over there. Plenty of water on this side. Uh, let's turn on, where is the mechanic station in relation to me right now? All right, mechanic station. I think I'm actually in the opposite side of the world from my starting area. Like literally the opposite end of the world. That's kind of awesome. All right, do you think I could do this from up here? Oh, this is a high drop. I'm gonna try it. Huh. Yeah, I love that. That is such a, like, that's even more convenient than the toilet. Although it takes a little bit of skill. I missed a Haybot apparently. Well, no worries. I've got this thing. I've got a, a tank. Ooh, I got an idea. There we are. Yeah, I got an idea. Some of those pieces that we found, I'm gonna use for uh, ramming protection. There we go. So I'm gonna use these things. Oh, that's gonna mess up my steering, isn't it? You know what I need to do? I need to put those on. I Let me get out of this wheat field. I can't see anything I'm doing in this wheat field. And plus I could get ambushed by a hay bot so easily. Very little visibility over here. All right, so anyway, my idea, uh, here, let me put a bit of a bumper thing. Actually, I'm just gonna do it all the way like that. That actually looks nice. And then I'm going to have this. Does that block? I can't tell if that blocks the light or not. It shouldn't block the light, I don't think. But I want this as a bumper. That looks kind of cool. And the cool thing is we can still see through it. So we can still see the light. The light should shine through and we can still, it kind of obstructs the fuel gauge, but at the same time, it's still visible. So I like that this adds some protection to the front because the durability of those, what's the durability of these? Durability of these is, oh, I just went to count it with my mouse, but I can't. Durability of these is six as opposed to wood, which is three. This is double the durability of wood, but it doesn't interfere with steering. I'm, uh, I'm down for that. I like this. I like this uh, I like this addition to the vehicle. All right, let's see if we can craft anything. I would like to craft another beacon to put on my vehicle. Not only to mark my vehicle, but also as an aesthetic choice. All right, what else do we got here? So a lot of you are saying, why didn't I use these glass tubes when it came to uh, making the craft bot loop? Instead, I kept putting all my metal into making these chests. But look at the glass tube requirements. You need glass, first of all, which I don't have a lot of, and you need tier two metal for it. Whereas with the chests, um, I mean, you need component kits and metal and a lot of metal at that, but like a chest gives you additional storage and works as a connector piece. So it just has that, it, ha it has that uh, benefit. So that was my reasoning behind not using glass tubes. I wanted the more storage and didn't want to have to use glass and tier two metal. Because with glass, I actually want to make lights. Um, it takes a metal piece of metal too. All right, looks like I can make two more lights. Now I can have some rear lights, some tail lights. All right, our craft bot is done. We got the lights, we got the beacon. All right, now we got some orange tail lights because I don't have a paint tool yet. And we have another beacon, which I'm going to put on top of my vehicle, which uh, I don't actually think I showed you guys that. I, f I think I forgot to show you this part of my design, but I have this uh, this carving out here because I can access all the chests like this from the roof. No problem. Um, so for the beacon, 
Where do I put beacon? I'm just gonna put it on the corner like that. There we go. We, now we got a satellite dish on top of our vehicle. And it marks our vehicle at all times. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off for the time being because I'm really not gonna need that very much. So I think that's kind of cool. Now it looks like we have a satellite dish on top of our vehicle. All right, we got seven minutes, but less than seven minutes. We have four minutes actually. So you know what? I'm actually not gonna risk my time management here. And I'm actually just gonna hang out by the farm. Let's actually, let's take a stroll through this wheat field, see if we can kill any hay bots with our new ramming device in the front. I call it a device like it's something fancy. It's just literally slabs of stuff placed on the front. All right, here we go. Enjoy the metal in the face. Oh my, okay. Didn't actually kill him. All right, let's just go after this guy then. Eh. Okay. It's, it's good at punching them in the face. I'm surprised that it, they're not taking more damage from it. Man, look at these haybots all over the place. All right, come on, kill this one. Just run him over. There we go. I guess you have to run him over in order to get the kill. Oh no. Oh no. What is wrong with your leg? I mean, your spine. Um, oh, there we go. We just spit it out like that. There's one thing I was curious about. Uh, apparently I should be able to pick up corn uh, with my vacuum pump. I don't know how effective it's gonna be, but I wanna try pressing the button as I back up over this corn. I don't know if that's gonna be in the range or not. Uh, nope. It doesn't appear that it, oh, it did work. Interesting. It's definitely a little too high for some of it, but it does appear to be able to work at least. All right, so I am capable of actually picking up corn. Here, let's go over here. No, it's not working here. All right, the sun's coming down. I'm back at the farm. We got to get ready for the harvest. So now I did see in the comments sometimes that... Wait, is this ready already? Not yet. I did see in the comments that when you're close to the harvest, apparently if you just throw some extra water on it, it'll uh, speed up the final process. So let's see if that's true. Well, they're not... I missed this plot, really? I can't believe I missed a plot. Unless something, does something happen and destroy that one? I didn't think I missed anything. Wait, did these? Oh no, they still have water on them. I was worried that they already ran out of water because I did the water early. All right, so in 13 seconds, this should happen very, very soon. Eight seconds. And then we just gotta pack up and get out of here. Here, let me put my light here. Two, one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Please hurry up. Please. Everybody. You were supposed to take 20. There we go. There we go. All right. Come on. Come on. I need... We, we have two minutes. Come on. We have two minutes. Can you... Oh, now it's working. Oh, now it's actually working. Okay, I need to throw more water. I need to throw water at these things. Come on, not all of them are doing it. All right, that one worked, that one worked. Yes, yes, yes. We're running out of time. The raid will come at any moment. Why does this happen? If it's 21 minutes, just be 21 minutes. Don't make me throw water on them. All right, there we go, there we go. Sprout, please, there we go. Sprout, thank you. Sprout, thank you, sprout, thank you. Uh, I think that's pretty much all. There was a carrot over here that I think I watered. Oh, no, I didn't water it. I totally forgot to water it, apparently. All right, now we have two minutes left, and we've done it. We've just had a raidless harvest. So if I wanted to right now, I could just leave this place. Oh, no, I gotta pick up the... What am I doing? I forgot I gotta do this part of it. All right, I have two minutes to do this. So this is a huge benefit to the nomad lifestyle. Since you're not actually settling down anywhere, you don't need to stick around for a raid. If you do your time management right, you can just plant right at midnight and then leave before the next midnight, at least for the, you know, this tier of crop. If you were gonna be planting pineapple and broccoli, which brings you like boss raids, uh, they take a long time unless you use fertilizer, but I still don't know if it's uh, enough time with the fertilizer. But yeah, so check that out. We don't even have to be here anymore. But I do kind of want to, just for the fun of it, I want to use my new ramming system and just ram through them. Just to have some fun, you know? So let's stick around. If things get a little bit too heated, we just drive away. 
We're nomads. We can pack up and leave whenever we want. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Here they come. Are there any hay bots? Oh, there he is. He, he literally tripped on the corn. Apex predator right there, tripping on corn. Like, where, where are you going? Where are you guys going? What are you after? Yeah, you know, just, why don't you all group up? Group up for me. Yeah, just group. They're attacking the thing. Oh no, are they gonna, they better not. They better not crash my game. Look at this, they're just attacking. They think I, you think I built that? <gasps> no, 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 no. I got stuck on it. Ah, ah. <laughs> Things went wrong. Drop the vehicle on them. Okay, let's just get in and back up. Oh no, they attacked me. Get out, get out of my vehicle. What is this? They, they better not have destroyed my seat. I don't think they did. Okay, you know what, let's leave. We're leaving now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave now. Bye. Did they destroy something? I don't think they destroyed anything. I think we're okay. You know what? Just kidding. Coming back. Coming back to get revenge. Uh oh. <laughs> Make it through. Yes, I actually made it through the pond. <laughs> I'm so stupid and reckless right now. Well, he's waiting by the water. Oh, there's three hay bots? That would have actually been a tough raid. More hay bots. I think I may have killed a hay bot. I don't know. I don't have a good, uh, I don't want to just go into the water like this. Yeah, come after me. You guys come after me. Should I risk trying to, no, there they go, there they go, there they go. Right out in the open, that's what I wanted. That's what I, are you avoiding me? That was actually a nice dodge. All right, what's behind me? We're good. These guys don't know what to do. They really don't know, like, they're like, what is he, What? what's his? Nothing here is mine. You have no power here. All right, yes, yes, yes. There we go, that was a good lineup. We got two bots. Uh oh, I'm, uh, I'm a little stuck right now, so let me just go ahead and do the final blow with my hammer. All right, there we are. Now let's, uh, I'm just gonna, I wanna find all their pieces so it doesn't go to waste. All right, so there we go. We got 23 oranges and we have 11 blueberries. Not terrible. And now we have 12 blueberry seeds, so if we do one more harvest of blueberries, we'll have enough for the uh, spud gun. But in addition to that, we still need to get a caged farmer, however. All right, so let's head to the trader. We got quite a trip ahead of us. Uh, and by the trader, I mean the packing station, which is near the trader marker. So I'm gonna head over there and I will see you guys there. Oh no, I don't like this section. There's definitely a boss in here somewhere. I'm just trying to get to the trader. There's a big ocean in between me and the... What is this? I think going the other way is gonna be better. I, I don't know where I am. I'm a nomad. Everywhere is home. This is home. You see that? Home. You see that over there? Home. Oh, look at these rolling hills here. This is really satisfying to drive across. I like this. All right, how do I get through here? How do I get to the trader from here? This is some difficult terrain. How's first person? Oh, first person is so good. This is an amazing view. I love this. Let's do follow camera. Oh, this is awesome. I am such a fan of first person in this vehicle. I did not know that I built a good first person like that. All right, we're getting closer to the farmer. Let's see if I can get up this hill. I'm gonna keep first person, come on. Uh, oh, we're slow. There we go. I think the farmer is in here. But where's the front of the farmer? That's where the packing station is. Right, I need to go third person again. I need to see my surroundings. All right, packing station. I'm just going to bomb off the cliff. I think it's right down here. All right, here we go. Ready? You ready? I am coming, packing station. Woo! For some reason, I thought it was a bush that I could go through. That's a very large bush though. Oh, there's a Haybot here to visit me. You see what I did? Look what I did, Haybot. This is beautiful. That right there is beautiful. Getting stuck in a tree with a uh, very much land-based vehicle, kind of amazing. Okay, here we go. We're gonna miss the tree this time, I hope. All right, and woo! All right, it's just, it's barely a jump. Ooh, that Haybot got annihilated. That was a lot of speed. All right, here we are. Oh no. I'm stupid. The oranges and blueberries don't go here. 
but I do know where the other one is. It's in that direction, which is not an easy direction to go in. But, oh, excuse you, a cow just ran into my vehicle. And there is a greenie tumbling down that hill. A lot of action here. All right, I found the second packing station. Let's go ahead and line this thing up. All right, let's do the oranges first, since that's what I have more of. So for this, I have to actually, I'm gonna clear that. I'm gonna put just the oranges in because I don't want to accidentally waste a blueberry on here. Make sure that is the oranges. All right, why is it not? It'll probably help if I have this going outwards. There we go. All right, now do the thing. There we go, okay. Orange time. All right, this is gonna be big progress. All right, 20 oranges are packed and I got two extra ones in there. So now I will load up the blueberries. I only have 11 blueberries. I need 20 total, but I'll at least be able to get a crate. Now we just gotta place these on the vehicle and I think that should be pretty easy. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna place, I think right uh, over the wheel well. I'm gonna place them on the wheel well. At least I'll place the oranges on the wheel well. The last one I might place up in front to balance out the weight. So we got a lot of weight in the back there. We don't have a lot of weight in the front. I'm just gonna place it. I'm gonna place it right up there. Why not? There we go. We could put a lot on this. We could definitely put a lot on this. The issue is the hills. All right, back to the farmer we go. Well, the good news is the pathway up from the second packing station is actually a much more gradual slope than the first packing station, which is pretty much a sheer cliff. All right, Mr. Trader, I got your oranges and some of your blueberries, not all of them. All right, I don't know why I'm going over here. Like I can actually get something at this point because I only just got this requirement fulfilled. Obviously I still need uh, these two things. Well, there we go. Our vehicle has upgraded a little bit and I have finally found a uh, advantage of the nomad lifestyle. There's a lot of challenges with the nomad lifestyle for sure, but one big advantage of not settling down anywhere is you also don't have to, you don't have to wait for a raid. Why wait for the raid? If you, if you do your time management right as a nomad, you can get in and get out before the bots even know what's going on. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Oh, the lights work. I just confirmed that the lights actually work. But let me know what you guys, what you guys want to see in the next episode. What should we work on? Oh wait, how much fuel have we used? Not that much. We got down to four over here. But yeah, leave those comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you might want to check out some other stuff on the channel that you can view on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.